Hey Central Newmarket, of all the communities in town, did you know that you had the most sales for the month of June? Hey, I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader at Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, and this is your June 2023 sold report in the month of July. Hey, before we start, I'd really like to thank Event Market for allowing us to film here today. Located at Riverwalk Commons in downtown Newmarket, this is an amazing space for anyone looking to host an event with some serious wow factor. From bridal and baby showers to birthday parties, celebrations of life and corporate events, their team will help you create a custom experience that will have your guests reminiscing for years to come. Contact Sam to book your event today. You'll find her contact information in the video description. There was 22 sales in the month of June, which is a very normal number for Central Newmarket this time of year. 16 of the sales were freeholds, while six were condos. Ranging in price from $565,000 for a two bedroom, two bath condo at 40 William Row Boulevard, to $1,855,000 for a stunning 3,500 square foot renovated century home on Raglan Street, which I had the pleasure of selling for my client and neighbor. Of all the sales, 10 sold for at or above the asking price, with four homes selling for more than 120% of asking. These homes were all dramatically underpriced to start with to generate a bidding war scenario. This tactic worked in these transactions, but we're seeing less and less interest from buyers to play that game. The demand for the area is very strong, but there is a lot of price sensitivity, especially from those looking for the older century homes. There will be less interest from buyers paying a big price if it's perceived to have a lot of work needed to be done. Also interesting is that there was no sales in Quaker Hill for over a million dollars in June. The market was slow all across town and not just this neighborhood. With only 100 sales for the month, it was actually the second slowest June that we have on record dating back to 2010. Lots of speculation as to why that might be, but my feelings are is the cost of home ownership with rising interest rates have pushed many to the sidelines. Inventory has been ultra low for the past two years, but has been slowly rising over the last few months. Not nearly as fast as many had predicted, but I do foresee that we will have over 200 active listings by the end of July, which will be the first time that that's happened since September 2020. And if you have any questions about the information in this report, please reach out. If you're a homeowner and you want to get an idea on what your home is worth in today's market, we would love to have a conversation with you to provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home may be worth so you can strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.